Hi guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex and today I'm going to show you how to move all your WhatsApp chat data from an iPhone device to an Android device. Please try to watch this video from the beginning till the end so you don't miss any of the tips on how to do this successfully. Our goal is to move these two chats from the iPhone to the Android device, right? So how can we do that? So make sure you have the latest iOS on your device. This could be the latest one, like 15.5, but I've done this with an iPhone 6 that only has uh, iOS 12. So this one works with different iOS versions. Just make sure you have the latest one capable on your device. You need to make a backup of the chats. And once you do a backup on WhatsApp, you're going to do a backup on iCloud too, just in case, you know, because this WhatsApp backup is going to be stored on the iCloud backup. So go to general, tap on your name, and you see iCloud, iCloud backup, backup now. Okay, so in that case, you're going to be sure that you're going to have the latest backup of your WhatsApp on iCloud. And this is going to take a little bit. On the Android, what do you need to have? This is a Samsung Galaxy A13 with Android 11. And there is an app that is called a Smart Switch. So you need to download that app. Make sure you have the latest version. So you're going to open the Play Store and you're going to look for Smart Switch. Click here and if it says open, that means that you have the latest version. If it says uh, updated, then you update it, right? Looks like the latest version is from June 2nd, 2022. Make sure you have that one. And also go to the Play Store and you're going to search for Google Data. Here, make sure you have this Data Restore tool. If you don't have it installed, install it. Those are the two things that you need to have. Uh, let me show you that I'm using Android 11. You're also going to need a cable, a cable that is going to go from the iPhone to the Android device from lighting to USB type C. And this cable actually comes with the iPhones now because the iPhones are not providing a charger anymore. You're going to need this cable. If you don't have it for some reason, you can buy it at Amazon. I'm going to put a link on the description. I think it's $9, so it's cheap, right? You should not have WhatsApp installed on your Android device. Smart Switch is going to scan the iPhone for all the apps that they have on the iPhone and you don't have on the Samsung. If you have WhatsApp, it's not going to transfer WhatsApp. So that's why you need to uninstall, okay? Uninstall. And if they ask you to keep data, no, say no. Uninstall WhatsApp. Okay, so we don't have WhatsApp. And now we are ready for the transfer, right? Now, a lot of people are going to ask me, uh, can I do this on a Xiaomi? Can I do this on a ZTE? Can I do this on a Motorola, on a Sony device? Right now, you can do it with Samsung because Samsung has Smart Switch and you need to have Android 10 and up, I believe. You can also do it with a Pixel, but the Pixel needs to have Android 12 or about. The good thing is that this is the Pixel 3 which is really old and it has Android 12. Let me show you. I have Android 12 security update October 5th, 2021. On the Pixel, there's another procedure. You need to restore your Pixel as it was brand new. So these are the two devices that I know you can do it. If you want to do it on a Xiaomi or a ZTE or Motorola or any other brand, you need to make sure you have Android 12 or you can use one of these devices in the middle. Once you transfer to one of these devices, then you do a backup on Google Drive and then you can move it to a ZTE or a Xiaomi or OnePlus, whatever phone that you have. Let's connect both phones, okay? Make sure you have a lot of battery because this might take a while, you know? My case is gonna be fast because I don't have a lot of data, but I guess you have a lot of data on your WhatsApp backup. All right, so we connect the iPhone and we connect the Android, the Samsung, boom. Choose an app for the USB device and you're gonna choose a smart switch. Only once, okay, or always, whatever you want. And it says connecting to transfer your data. Trust this computer, you're gonna click trust. The Samsung recognized the iPhone. Now we're going to click next. Searching for data to transfer. Look, you can see all the stuff that we can transfer. Deselect everything and then just click on apps. So calls and contacts and apps and then scroll up and click transfer. Checking for matching apps. And look at this. I have Apple Music and voice recorder. We're going to deselect that because we just won WhatsApp. And you can see here how big it's going to be. It's going to be 39 megs. So that's not a lot of data. You're probably going to have gigs of data here. Then click Install. Transfer WhatsApp chats. Scan the QR code with your iPhone to open WhatsApp. Then tap Start. Open your camera on the iPhone. You need to put it on top. 
and this is going to read the QR code. So, and then you're going to open here, opening WhatsApp, open. And that's how we're going to see this option, move chats to Android. Now, some people are going to tell me that their camera is not working because this could happen, you know, maybe your camera broke or whatever. So you don't have a camera. So what you should do? No problem. You open WhatsApp and then you go to chats. And here you see the option of move chats to Android. Move chat to Android. Transfer your chat history and media to your new Android phone. You will not be able to transfer later if you skip this step. So basically here on the iPhone, we're going to click start. It says getting chats ready. Continue on your new phone. And here it says calculating remaining time. It's doing it really fast. Remember, I don't have a lot of data, just 36 max. If you have a lot of data, this is going to take longer, guys. Also, a good advice is before doing this transfer, make sure you clean up your WhatsApp. You know, delete all the videos and crap that you don't need, all the groups, chats that you don't need. Delete all that. So make it slim. And once you finish cleaning it up, then you do the transfer. Okay, it says down transfer your data. Go to home screen, data transfer results, calls, and apps. I click next. Important, turn off iMessage. If you don't turn off iMessage on the Apple website, not all text messages will be delivered to your new phone. So how can we do this? We need to go to settings on the iPhone, messages, and you see iMessage, you need to disable it, okay? Disable iMessage, boom. And then it says, after you're done, you can use the recent button to return to this page. Okay, so I'm gonna click next. Get your iCloud data, get the content you have stored in your iCloud. If you click download and you log into iCloud, you're gonna be able to download all the data that you have there. I don't wanna do that, I'm just gonna click next. And it says all set. I'm gonna click done. What happened with WhatsApp? Oh, here. They download WhatsApp. I'm gonna put it on the home screen. Okay, I'm gonna open it. And it says welcome to WhatsApp. On the iPhone, you know, nothing happened. Click agree and continue. And now it's gonna ask me to verify WhatsApp. So now that I have my phone number, I'm gonna click next. Connecting. Okay, it says you entered the phone number 5568. Make sure that's the number though. And now we're going to click OK. Here on the iPhone, like it's very fine, completed because it automatically read the text that WhatsApp sent to confirm it. That's why it authorized it automatically. And here on the iPhone, I said that I'm logged out of WhatsApp. Contacts and media continue. Allow WhatsApp to access your contacts. Allow. Photos and media. Allow. And here's the screen that we need, guys. It says importing chat history. We need permission to restore your chats. You will not be able to import later if you skip this step. So I'm going to click start. Importing chat history. Import complete. So this is what you want to see, guys. Import complete. I'm going to put Alex next. And here you can put a daily on this account. This is just to set up your backup, you know. Google account. We're going to select the account that we need include videos so i set up my google drive backup and i'm gonna click done and that's it guys i have all my chats here look everything here i have it right there so everything's working just to see what kind of version do we have here we are friday july 1st 2022 and the current version of whatsapp is 222 1476 222 1476 june 24 2022 and that's it, guys. We were able to transfer all our chats from iPhone to Android. So a lot of people don't like iOS. They prefer Android. And they're going to switch from iPhone to Android. So what happened on the WhatsApp on the iPhone? If we try to open it, we're going to have to cancel this, you know? Almost there. Cancel transfer because we're done. And look, your phone number is not longer registered with WhatsApp on this phone. This might be because you registered on another phone. If you didn't do this, verify your phone number to log back into your account. So I can click verify. And if I put the number and everything works, I'm going to keep using the WhatsApp on the iPhone. If not, I'm going to use WhatsApp on the Android device. So if you have your SIM card on your iPhone, now is a good time to move it to the Android because this is going to be your main phone. Unfortunately, this is not possible on all Android phones for now. I don't know when it's going to be available to every Android device. Right now, it's possible with a Samsung device using a smart switch or a Pixel device with Android 12. I'm using a Pixel 3 here. Any other Android device with Android 12, I think you can do it. If you have a Xiaomi, for example, and you don't have Android 
12 and you want to do this transfer, you can borrow a Samsung or a Pixel in order to do it. Once you have it on Google Drive, then you just have to restore your backup on your Xiaomi or your Poco or your Redmi. Any of these popular phones, you can do it, but chances are you're going to need one of these guys in the middle. Guys, if you want to support my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. That's the best way you can help me so I can keep doing videos for you. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you on my next video. Take care. Bye.